If I may, I was curious about your past with Braddock. You two clearly have a history. Edward was one of us upon a time. I considered him a close friend. He was brave and bold in ways few men are. But everything changed at the siege of Bergen op Zoom. We had lost the fortress to the French and were in the midst of egress. There was a skiff hidden at the port with which we planned to make our escape. As we drew near, a young man and his family came upon us, begging for safe passage. I consented, but Edward refused. The young man called him Craven then. So Edward killed him and all the rest, even the children. To this day, I don't know why. Was this the first time he'd struck out? Or had I simply never seen it before? Either way, things were never the same after that. We campaigned together a few more times, but each outing was more disturbing than the last. He killed and killed. Enemy or ally, civilian or soldier, guilty or innocent. It mattered not. If he perceived one to be an obstacle, they died. He maintained that violence was a more efficient solution. It became his mantra. And it broke my heart. I had no idea. He hides it well, and intimidates into silence any who discover him. Those who persist have a tendency to find misfortune. And we should stop him. I suppose you're right. But I maintain a foolish hope that he might yet be saved and brought back round to reason. I know, I know. It's a silly thing to believe that one so drenched in death might suddenly change. I'm sorry to have brought us up. It was not my intent to sour you. Nonsense. We are brothers now. There should be no secrets between us. Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas' fort under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then, let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. The Boston <laughs> Weekly <laughs> Seems we've had ourselves an unhappy little accident. Get it sorted, and quickly. Of course, my lord. At once.
Charles, you and Williams serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Sir, we've enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of them. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. Engage the enemy! Only say the word, and I'll cut them down. One moment there. Me and you. Who's your officer? Engage like the enemy! All clear! Good evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery for Silas. Go on, then. See? I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain... Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. <laughs> 